welcome to Talk Shit. We're here with another episode of Talk Shit, and uh, I'd like to welcome everybody. All right, first thing, we're going to get right to the news, because I'm hoping to open the phone lines up and see how this works. Um, can't promise you anything. A couple of tests later, or earlier, um, it didn't sound so good, but we're working on it. So, uh, first thing in the news, right off the bat. I got to jump in uh, again. All of our news and uh, breaking latest stories provided by Real News Real Fast, uh, Tom Lemons and his organization over there. Great source of news. Hernando County on Friday uh, looks like uh, Deputy William Martinez has a possible sexual assault charge against him. Apparently, he assisted a trooper. On an accident scene about Tuesday morning, somewhere around, or Thursday morning, rather, around 2 a.m., and then apparently gave the woman a ride home afterwards. Well, big mistake because that woman came back a couple days later and made allegations of inappropriate behavior. Um, just another one for uh, Hernando County Sheriff's, I guess. Yep, chalk that one up. Anyway, moving on. Um, Papa Joe's looks like uh, they let all their employees go. Unfortunately, he says it might be a while before they're uh, able to rebuild. So for those of you who are uh, diehard Papa Joe fans, it, it might be a while before you get some of that uh, Papa Joe's Italian food again. But once it does open, I do promise we will get in there and, and check it out and give it another try. Other than that, we're going to move over to a little bit of the weather here in Spring Hill right now. It's uh, about 60 to 3 degrees, 62.5 to be exact, 81 degrees or 81% humidity, which makes it real muggy outside. It doesn't look like we got any wind. And the little bit we do have is coming out of the north. So it's uh, it's a little cool and muggy tonight, folks, for those of you around the Kennedy Studio area. Looks like we're going to get a possibility of some more rain tonight. It rained last night. But I find something else interesting in some international news, and it just um, goes to show you that here we go again with uh, viruses and sickness and flus and epidemics and and just disease running rancid according to general news agency a second person in eastern china has contracted a strain of avian influenza bird flu's back folks uh, looks like this one is h10n8 which i'm not too sure about i read a little into it earlier and um it's 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 not a nice one we're gonna we're gonna have uh, people walking around with masks again and and anyone you know traveling getting on an airplane here soon keep that in mind if you're going international flight um, you have this uh, real nasty one going out around you and and you know you don't want to get sick that's for sure you don't want to end up like them people on a cruise ship that's for sure oh my god could you imagine could you imagine going out on a cruise to enjoy yourself? <clears throat> Excuse me, and ending up sick as a dog, puking, diarrhea. Oh, I would die! And here it is: my wife and I want to go on a cruise. I don't think we're going on a cruise, hon. We might be flying somewhere different. <laughs> yeah, that's bad, man. At least uh, you, you would hope that the cruise line compensates them somehow i'm not too sure if i'd want a complimentary cruise i don't i don't think i want to get sick twice that would be my luck but uh i got a little interference going on sorry about that anyway yeah so um yeah that, that would be just my luck we'd get on the cruise and, and and be out there for about four or five days and then come to find out that it wasn't, uh, it wasn't just, you know, I got a little overheated, that I got this debilitating food 
airborne illness and and now we're quarantined stuck on a cruise ship for what was supposed to be a week is now god knows oh my god i could just imagine be ridiculous but anyway uh welcome to talk shit everyone i want to thank everybody for listening um trying to zip through the news here but not zip through too fast because um you know we do have a half hour show to cover Hoping to expand that, if everybody will go to our Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com forward slash talk shit TV show. There's a link up there for uh, Bonafide Funds for a t-shirt. Uh, what happens is, is $5 from the purchase of that t-shirt comes to the studio to help us build the studio up and bring you more content, bring you more guests, and just make the show all in out, all in or more better. Um, first example will be this phone line tonight, and you'll see if you're one of the lucky ones to call in. You'll have to uh, bear with us. There's quite an echo going on, and I'm not sure what's going on with it. So here's another one in, in international news. Um, well, that was the 300 of the people on that vessel, but what are you going to do with that one? Back to the sheriff. What do, what do you people think of that? That's something we could talk shit about. What do you think? Um, this is, um, this is the second time in just a few weeks this has happened. This is the second time that we're reading this in the news very recently. I'd like to know what's going on. I really would. (laughs) Um, it's, uh, it's a strange one. It's a strange one. And now... It just opens a little more eyes, I hope. Um, I have a a friend of mine who's a a fellow DJ out there who's messaging me something about my microphone being too high or something like that. Um, Let's see. Daisy Venus Kingmaker. She is my DJ friend out there. Uh, Let's see what she has to say over here. We're trying to get over to Facebook. Uh, she's, uh, She's up north. And uh, apparently there's no school tomorrow because <laughs> uh, I guess they're getting their butts kicked by snow. So, Daisy, if you're listening, uh, go ahead and give me a shout and uh, let me know how this is sounding because uh, <laughs> I can't hear it. All I hear is myself talking and, and, you know, but anyway, all right, so let's move on. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, let's move on. Let, let's let's go ahead and give these phones a shot. What do, what do you say? Um yeah, if you want to go ahead and give a call in, we got about 16 minutes left. So what I'm going to do, and this will get you guys to all go to the Facebook page. I'm going to put the phone number up on the Facebook page. And I'm warning you, we got like dinosaur age phone system here. I'm working on it. Bear with me. All right, so here we go. Let's see if I can... Remember the number. So if you go to www.facebook.com forward slash talk shit TV show, I'm about to put the phone number up there and uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, nope. We don't want to dial the phone number. See, that's a bad thing. We don't want to do that. <laughs> All right. I know you can hear me pounding on the keyboard because it's connected to the same table. Just one of the small technical problems we have to work out here at the studio. But if you've been in this business at all, you know they have little quirks. All right, for some reason, all right, here we go. All right, so here we go. Phone number's up. What do you mean try refreshing my page? Don't do this to me. All right, so. <clears throat> Bear with me, folks. We're having some technical difficulties here. Once again, <laughs> uh, let's get back over to here, get this phone number up, and then we'll get you guys to call in, and uh, let's talk about something. Tell me what you think of the show. Tell me what you want to hear. Tell me what you want to talk about. Let's talk shit. All right? So, of course. <laughs> All right, phone number's up there, folks. Once again, if you want to uh, give us a call, it's 352, I mean, 
www.facebook.com forward slash talk shit TV show. And uh, that'll force you to go to my page. And if you haven't liked it already, please do take a look around. Phone number's up top. Just highlighted it. Give us a call and, and let's see what happens. Well, I should have had some Jeopardy music ready. How about this? Here we go. All right. Anyway, well, while we're waiting for the, the hordes of people to call in, uh, we'll talk about some more of the local news here. Let's see what else Tom's got going on. I know there was quite a bit going on today. I know um, I had heard, got wind of uh, a tractor trailer that had overturned on US 19. I was going to go up there and fly the chopper, but uh, I don't know if the phone's working or not. So as soon as somebody calls in, we'll figure it out, I guess. <laughs> um, one thing we got uh, real news, real fast hosts what's called our show. And uh, we've been asked to come on and be a guest speaker. Um, it's an opinion about medical cannabis. Well, look at that. We got our first call, and I and I, I just so happen to know that number. So hold on, folks. Let's see. Hold on. Hey. Hello, Daisy. What's going on? You're live. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you doing? How's it sounding? Oh, you're a little bit loud. Just uh, pull yourself away from your, your uh, speakers a bit. Yeah, well, still working those things out. I got like four audio panels that we uh, that we try to get the sound right. How's that? How's that? Good. You there? Hello. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're better. All right. Good. So, uh, how's your show going, Daisy? Um, just starting to get back. Uh, just trying to work out some issues with the PC and the laptop and all. But it's going to take some time. Been a busy woman. <laughs> That's that's good. I was listening to some of it last night. For those of you who do listen to the show and are uh, techno fans, uh, Daisy mm-hmm. Venus Kingmaker, she's the one to listen to. Um, she plays uh, plays a lot of techno. Um, what else you got going on out there? I mean, uh, you have any plans oh, to man. possibly come I over here and talk shit one day? <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Probably in the spring on spring break or something. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, I know you uh, have a little bit of roots down here in Florida, so hoping when you do come down here, you um, you stop in and, and you give us a few minutes of your time. We can bring you on air. Oh, that would be great. I love that. Sure, sure, definitely. Uh, you want to go ahead and throw a little plug out for your show and, and possibly get a little more listeners out there? Hey, this is Daisy Venus Kingmaker bringing it to you from Cleveland, Ohio. Don't the snowballs at you in South Florida, Central Florida. <laughs> Thanks, Daisy. I appreciate you calling in. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you soon, Daisy. We're going to try and move on, get these phone lines open, and um, see if we can't get somebody else to call in and talk some more shit. All right. Thanks, Daisy. Up there. Give them a call. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. That was Daisy Venus, Kingmaker. Uh, like I said, a uh, fellow DJ friend of ours from up in Ohio, freezing her butt off up there in the snow. From what I understand, they're looking at another one coming their way. Um, we got a few other things in the works. Like I said, uh, before the we got our first call there, um, going to be appearing on our show for Real News Real Fast on a uh, medical marijuana debate. Uh, we're going to have myself and two other guests, and we're going to go back and forth, and we're going to see who can convince the listeners of God knows what, but we're going to debate about it. <laughs> uh, this time, I would definitely like to say thanks for anybody and everybody that's uh, out there listening, and I hope you um, like the show. I hope you can contribute a little more and call in. Uh, phone lines are open, 352-556-1321. Go ahead, give us a ring, and we'll be happy to get you on air and possibly talk about anything you want to talk about. For now, we are going to discuss a little bit of the cannabis news that's going on. Um, I have quite a very exciting announcement. Um, As of now, 
we have enough votes for it to be on the ballot and be voted on for medical cannabis here in the state of Florida come November. And for those of you who have been here as long as me and who are um, an activist for people who need medical cannabis, those of you who realize the, the, the possibilities of it, um, then you support what I'm saying, and uh, hopefully you'll tune into the show and, and you know watch the our show about medical cannabis and and also when the vote comes up, remember in November, you know if we it, it's 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 great that it's on the ballot. That's a good thing. It's we're one step ahead. You know we've 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 come so far. And on the next show that we get into, or uh, well actually. When we get into our show for Real News Real Fast, I'm going to cover um, the history of cannabis, um, where it dates back from, where it started, just to show, you know, that it's it's always been used as medicine, always. It's never been anything else. Um, moving on, I'd like to, again, thank everybody for tuning in, anybody and everybody who you know, I hope you share this with and, and get us some more listeners. And again, it's up to the listeners to bring us the content that you want to see and hear. I'd like to thank Daisy for calling in, saying hello. Um, hoping to have a little more of a feedback with the with the telephone lines being open. I, I, I knew you were going to call me, Daisy. I was hoping you called me. If you didn't, I'd be mad. <laughs> um but, uh, yeah, so, you know, maybe next time we'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to shut those phone lines down because we only got a few minutes. Uh, I was hoping to hear from, from a few people. I'm trying to work on another segment. Um, it's going to be a New York review. I have a very close friend of mine in New York who uh, possibly might give us uh, economic review, uh, financial, and, you know, just his opinion. And after all, talk shit is about your opinion. So, with that said, um, I think I've uh, chewed your ear off long enough. I'm sure you're tired of listening to me already. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to call it a night. I was hoping, uh, like I said, have a few more callers to stretch it out a little bit and give us a, a little more of some more opinion. My opinion only goes so far, folks, and... and that's what this show is based on. It's based on opinions, and, and I do need other opinions that we can debate. So if you want, you can come and sit down um, on the show live with me and voice your opinion. We can go back and forth right here in the studio. That would actually be rather interesting. I invite anybody and everybody. doesn't matter. Uh, it could be uh, from the sheriff. All the way down to the homeless man you see standing there on the corner begging for change. Doesn't matter. We'll sit here and we'll debate about what you want to debate about all day long. Uh, I have no problem doing that. Um, and uh, I'd like to again thank Tom Lemons for you know inviting me onto the show and taping it. I'll keep you guys informed on when it's going to air so you guys can all tune in to that. And I'd like to thank him for the chance of, uh, um, you know, coming on his show and talking shit because uh you know after all that's what talk shit is it's just in a bunch of opinions um obviously we're gonna try and get tom on here and uh we'll, we'll bring out a, a side of tom that that you know a lot of people don't know and 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 we'll get tom to open up about his past some of you would be really surprised where tom's come from he's been in this industry a long time and for those of you who know that uh who know that it wouldn't surprise you, but for those of you who follow Real News real fast, um, I think it would be a real interesting look into who the uh, owner is and how he's built it to what it is and where it's come from. So, without further ado, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in and anybody for tuning in, and uh, you have a good night. Excuse me. And until next time, we will have to say good night. And hopefully, we'll talk to you then to talk shit.